And back here we have Ellie. <laughs> so we're all in here for a reason, but I'm going to start with a couple of things first. Today we are talking about 15 uses for prescription bottles. Mike and Dave have really gotten into using prescription bottles, and we wanted to share some of the tips that we use for them. But first, we're doing our giveaway $70 worth of books for free. What? For no free. way. So we have Dig Out of Debt. Whoops, Dig Out of Debt. We have Penny Pension Mama, 500 Ways. I live on $500 a month. We have Quick and Easy Menus. <laughs> We have Dining on a Dime, 1,200 tips and recipes to help you save on your grocery bill. And we have Menus on a Dime, menus that go with the recipes and dining on them. Towards the end of the show, I'm going to tell you how you can enter. And so far, we've had some really great um, entries. So thank you so much. We're going to do that. Uh, second, so today I went shopping with Jack after swim lessons. And look! What Mike bought me that he didn't even know he bought me. <gasps> I am so thoughtful. Didn't. Oops, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. I, I just can't. bought it from a distance. You did. You bought it from a distance. Look at that. Two dozen lime green. I even got you two dozen. You got me two dozen. Wow. And you didn't know it. Sometimes it I may see them myself. You do. <laughs> Aren't those gorgeous? Um, I found those on the clearance rack, and I thought, oh, Mike wants to buy me some flowers today. <laughs> so I paid $6 for two dozen of these gorgeous roses. Aren't they pretty? My birthday's in a month and a half, so I figured he could start celebrating early. So we could see how they last that long. <laughs> They're not going to last that long, but that's my good That's my good deal for the day is six dozen roses for, or I mean, two dozen roses for $6. And then, um, so... Okay, so how many of you have used these Jamberry nails? They're, they're like a nail wrap, and my cousin ever so kindly sent me some of these, and I put them on last night, and these are the coolest things. So they're supposed to last two weeks. Now, I don't know if mine will last two weeks because I take a lot of fish oil, but I'm going to give it a try, and they were really easy to put on, but I just thought those were the coolest things. So I just had to show you I finally have fingernails after... Not being able to have fingernails because I garden so much. It's amazing. This year I haven't done much gardening. And um, they're grown out and I'm super excited. So that's a couple of my good deals for the day was my nail wraps and my roses. And we have something. Before we say that, we should mention, we are going to get the prescription bottles here in just a second. Yes. people are already commenting on that. Oh, yes. Okay. So we have something special going on today. And what is going on today, Derek Jack? Um... It's Grandma's birthday. It's Grandma's birthday. So we're going to sing happy birthday to Nan Good slash birthday. Jill really quick. You ready, guys? Yeah. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Nan. Happy birthday to you. They're saying, make it stop. Make it stop. <laughs> make it stop. <laughs> All oh, right. Uh, Catherine says that you never told them how to enter the contest. So yes, I'll tell you in a few minutes after we talk about the prescription bottles. Okay, you can go now. We had to sing happy birthday to Nan because Nan is sitting at home by herself. And she... Uh, yeah, close that door for me, please. And she didn't get her birthday cards from us. She didn't get her birthday presents from us. Well, she got my birthday card and Jack's. She did? Okay. So she. So we thought we had to do something. I couldn't even give her flowers because I'm not there. So anyway, we wanted to tell Mom a happy birthday. Now we love her. And we're so glad that she was born so I could be born so they could be born. <laughs> okay. We're talking about prescription bottles today and <laughs> Mike and Dave have been using prescription bottles right and left and and um, so we were going to show you some tips on how to use them so Jack wanted to sit on dad's lap here dad can Jack sit on your lap 
Sure. All right. So, yes, it's okay. Um, so, who wants to start? Dad or, Dad or Dave? We'll have Dad start. Okay. Well, so, how Dad originally started. Well, we have a bunch of these prescription bottles that I hate to throw them away because they're, you know, they're really nice bottles. But we were just tossing them because we really, I would stick them in a drawer and say, what are we going to do something with this? And I would never do it. So, finally, one day, I thought, you know, I have Christmas money. It seems like whenever I get money as Christmas gifts, it just gets absorbed into the family budget, and, and that's all. So, I started putting cash in this little bottle, uh, just rolling it up like this. Well, I found out... Look at this load of cash! Look at that! It's not really that much. Dude! Those are all hundreds. I have a, I have yeah, a hundred whatever. dollars downstairs <laughs> inside of that. But that's to save for, um, you know, just fun things. But then I started realizing Tara has all these things. She gives me, like, uh, different supplements and medicines, but it's usually yeah. like ibuprofen or Tylenol. Yeah. And we have these humongous institutional-sized bottles, and I don't usually need that much. And my computer bag gets completely full of huge bottles. And so I started putting change in some... And Good dollars and some, and, and, and acids and some, and I think we've even got like Q-tips, and So we started using things. them to put a lot of our pills, so we'll take some duct tape and write on there um, what's in there, because uh, I'm on like 15 different supplements, and so you can just put on there what the supplement is, and then this is a lot easier and smaller to carry than this so that's why we started with with that then dave said what was your comment on the q-tips uh, so dave said if you have really really dirty ears oh, yeah if you have really really <laughs> dirty ears you can put q-tips in it and it works great take them with you everywhere yeah, yeah but you know actually this would be good if you go camping or anything like that same with matches Mm -hmm. also work yeah, well. and so we also use them for matches. This is a bigger bottle, but they fit in the smaller bottles too for camping or hiking. Mike and the boys we, like to go hiking a lot. Yeah, because we live in Colorado, we go up to the mountains a lot to hike. And we found that we can put a lot of things in these little bottles, like matches and first aid supplies and all sorts of things like that. And um, we thought they might be waterproof, so we were testing them today, but we've discovered. So we put a little piece of toilet paper in one because we figured if it was going to be wet at all, it would uh, it would show if we put it in water. So at first, Jack, stop. At first, I put this in and we submerged it underwater for a while, holding it under the water, and it got just slightly damp. Well, almost like we just slightly misted it. So it's not, you know, you can't go scuba diving with this. <laughs> and expect it not to get wet. Wait a minute. You're scuba diving with toilet paper? <laughs> yeah, that would be kind of weird, wouldn't it? But uh, we do go up to the mountains and hike a lot. And a lot of times we'll bring things like matches and stuff as an emergency thing. Uh, and if we should fall in the water or whatever, it, it won't actually be submerged. So for us, this rains. is waterproof enough yeah. um, for a lot of those supplies like that. Or rain. But, you know, we don't usually stick this completely under the water. So what we found is they're almost watertight, but not, not quite that watertight. Yeah. yeah, so that's another good idea. Then um, it also makes a really good childproof storage for things like pens. Can you see all our pens in there? So for needles and pens or anything like that, you could use it for a childproof container. And then, also, this is Jack's favorite. So, Jack, show him what this one is. It's What's like, in there? Um, crayons and paper. Show them again. It's like crayons and, and there's also paper inside of this. And yep. It's like a little coloring. So, it's a little coloring kit. So, if we're at church or waiting for something or if we're at the doctor's office waiting, then we can just have Jack's little coloring kit right here. And it's all neat and tidy, and then I can just pull it out, but it's not in a huge bulky thing either. Then um, you could also put like band-aids and um, tweezers in here and make a little mini first aid kit. And then, huh? A 
Okay, and then this is Dave's one. Dave's yeah. excited for this. So go yeah. ahead and share so, it with so you. So I feel like candy, like job stoppers or like whoppers or things. These are Dave's favorite candy. candies. <laughs> you can you can stick them inside of these and they're they just hold them perfectly. Then you can carry a few candies with him, and he doesn't have to take the whole box to church or anything like that. Pamela says her crafty daughter keeps art stuff in there. Yes, you could keep art supplies like little buttons or rocks or little, um, you know, the sticky, little tiny sticky things. Uh, what do you call them? Sticky foam things that you put on crafts and stuff. Uh, I don't know. Oh, yeah. Well, I don't know what they're called, but anyway, yeah, put those in there. And then... That's the sewing supplies. Yes, you could make a little sewing kit out of it, or this one, it doesn't matter. Um, you could put sewing kits in there. And um, then if you have, you're like at the beach or something like that, you could fill this up with sand and label it with what beach you went to and the date or with seashells. You could do bigger seashells and the bigger ones and that kind of thing. And then you could also put um, lotion. Just fill it up with lotion if you want, and you could carry this um, in your purse or in your hiking or whatever with a salve, that kind of thing for hiking, um, or on the beach. Um, you could make a salve with um, essential oils for bug bites and that kind of thing, and you could do that too. So put your lotion, in, and I use the, I like the little um, pump lotions and so I'll pump that in there and it fills it up really quick and easy and then of course if you happen to have a soap maker like your wife and you just love soap and you have to take your soap with you because it's just so wonderful <laughs> you can throw a little bar of soap in here and that'll keep it um, dry for if you're hiking or at the beach or if you go on a picnic this is a great idea for when we go on picnics in the mountains um, we're right by the creek there, and the kids could wash their hands or anything like that. This is all natural soap. There's nothing weird that would cause environmental problems or anything. So, you know, we could just use this straight there. So Debbie says she puts pennies in them to use in the train the dogs not to bark. Oh, Shaking that is... the bottle to start barking. That's brilliant. That's a great idea. That is... Who did that, Debbie? Debbie? tell the neighbors about that one. Yeah, we have 14 dogs behind us, and they never stop barking. And I'm doing a video on that in a couple of days. But that's a great idea. So does anybody ha else have ideas on what you use them for? Are there any other comments, Mike, that we're getting that people... Uh, you might look on there. There have been... Let's see. Some we people were have... worried about whether kids would, little kids would think that there was... Uh, it was okay to play with medicines, but others are reminding them that these bottles are childproof. Yeah, they are childproof, and, you know, if you have kids that are that young, you need to teach them not to be doing that. My kids are older, so, you know, if your kids, I'm not saying put your gobstoppers in for one-year-olds or anything, so, no, um... I don't think that's a big deal, but yeah, I mean, I could see how they would see this as candy and, and try medicines, but you know, do this with older kids. Um, Cheeky Saver says, if you glue on a piece of paper, sandpaper. oh, a piece of sandpaper on the outside, of, oh, okay, if you glue a piece of sandpaper on the outside of the matches container, you have a striker built in. That's, that's a good idea. Brilliant. Yeah, that's a really good idea. All right. It looks like Beth says the spare key. I'm not sure. If oh, yeah. So that was one I saw online. These were ones we just came up with. But they glued a, uh, what do you call it, a rock from their outside. They glued a rock on top. And then they buried this part in the soil so the rock looked like it was sitting on top. And they put a spare key in there. So that's pretty good. I wish you could do that for our car. Someone broke in, we had a spare key on our cars the other day, and someone broke into our car, <laughs> so uh, that didn't work very good for us for that, but, <laughs> so we had a hide a key. Do what? I think they stole $500. Yeah, they did. So yeah, they took my son's stereo equipment, and we got part of it back, but not all of it. So let's see, does anyone else have any? Uh, Sherry, or Cheryl. Cheryl? says, I put lipstick in a prescription bottle in my purse, and lipstick doesn't fall out. And your lipstick doesn't fall out. 
Hmm. Okay, I don't quite get that. I can see maybe she's talking about the lid. I've had my lipstick explode on me where the lid falls off and I get lipstick all over my <laughs> all over my purse. It's a mess. So um, Linda from Ireland just checked in. Oh yay, we have someone from Ireland. How cool. Um let's see. Any other ideas that we have? Um so while we're waiting, you guys post your ideas and your questions real quick. And while we're waiting, I'm going to tell you. So to enter our giveaway for our five books, Mr. Wal Wal Walrus back here. <laughs> Actually, one person is saying that they know Mike and the kids' names, but not your name. Oh, I'm Tara. You are? Or, I'm Tara. Well, it's great to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> how do you spell it? Is it T-A-I-A? And how you spell it is T-A-W-R-A. -A. It's ta ra <laughs> but I say Tara. Ooh, ooh, wait. Oh. I've got some people saying craft beads, buttons. So, oh, the lady that was talking about the, uh, Cheryl was saying that about the lipstick that she puts it in there so that the lid of the lipstick doesn't fall off in the purse. Yes, that's a very smart idea. I've had that happen and it, it does explode all over your purse and make a great big mess. Um, it's probably okay. Um, we're entering for to enter our giveaway. Ooh, rolls of postage stamps, coins for laundry, earbuds. Oh my! Okay, let me tell you about the giveaway real quick, and then we'll tell everybody's ideas. Go to our YouTube. Go to our livingonadime.com. Find a recipe or article that you like, and then share that on any social media. I don't care if it's Pinterest, Facebook, Twitter, whatever. You can share it wherever. Then go to this video on YouTube. And in the comments, tell me what, the you just have to tell me the title, what you shared, and where you shared, and that will be your entry. And at Saturday at 6 p.m., we're going to give away three sets of our books. So, that's how you enter. Okay, so more... We're at 6 or during the 6 p.m. broadcast? Well, during the 6 p.m. broadcast. It'll probably be closer to 6.30. So, anyway, yeah, the 6 p.m. broadcast, excuse me. All right, any more ideas? Um... Once it's wet wipes inside because it's much smaller than a whole pack. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, wet wipes. Yeah, you could carry wipes for your dog too if you if they get into a lot of um, mud and stuff. You could do that. That's a great idea. Yeah, yeah. Carolyn says she saved them when she went to nursing school. She finds what adding candy and giving them nice babies. Oh, that's a cute idea as a party for a nurse. That's a really good idea. That's cute. Yeah. Put doggy bags. Yeah. You could put dog poop bags in here if you're going walking with your dog. Um, anything else? No, that's all I see right now. That's all we see at the moment. Okay. All right, guys. Well, I think that's going to be it for today. We shared more than 15 ideas, but the 15 was the original that we came up with. So Ooh, dried beans for an instant cat toy. Oh, that's a good idea. Very cool. Um, great to Lots hide money beans. in. Great to hide in cigarettes. <laughs> okay. okay. Well, you know. <laughs> um, uh, eyeglass clip. Oh, yeah. Eyeglass clip and keep your nail clippers in there. Catnip with little holes. Catnip <laughs> with holes. That's keep a good idea. Yeah. Um, sugar. Oh, that's a great idea. You could put sugar or mustard, you ketchup, mayonnaise, any of those little kind of things for picnics. Oh, and lotions. Yeah, and to carry, lotions. yeah, I did the lotions. To carry them, um, we have a cooler that we keep packed all the time with our picnic stuff because a couple of times a month we'll go up to the mountains and have a picnic, and that would be a great idea to keep those in. Um, all the ketchups and everything. Yeah, that's a good idea. Um, salt shaker, you could drill holes in the top. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, a tell them. Capsule. Yeah, tell them, yeah. Dave, again. You could, you could drill holes in the top, and then you could put your salt in it. Mm -hmm. Or pepper. Or pepper. pepper. Yep, that's a very good idea. Yep. Sugar. Um, if somebody else is saying use to keep matches dry. Let's which they do, see. as long as you don't scoop it up with your yeah. matches. Yeah. You just want to build a fire underwater. <laughs> Spices. I forgot about spices. Oh yeah, spices would be good. That would be really good if you're if you're cooking hamburgers or something. Travel shampoo and conditioner. Thank you, Tammy. That's a great idea. Um, yeah, those are really good ideas. Okay, so now I think we're gonna have oh, to do cotton a... balls with Vaseline for fire starters. Oh yeah. Okay, cotton balls 
with Vaseline for fire starters. So what you do for that is you get a little Vaseline and you dip your cotton ball in it and then you could just stuff, I don't know, you could probably stuff 40 or 50, in, well maybe not that many, maybe 20, 30 in here or you could get a good 10 or 20 in this size and then you could carry your matches in another one and that would work really well. Oh, garden seeds, that's the one I forgot. I keep my garden seeds in there. So like right now my blue fat, my blue flax is going to seed. So I'll put them in here and I'll put a label with the date on there. I use that for my garden seeds. Um, thanks, Colleen. I had forgotten that tip. That was one that I had on there. Um, let's see. Oh, did we mention uh, like mini first aid kits? Because yes, we were talking I did. about band-aids and yeah. coconut oil for lips and cuts and stuff. Yep. You could do little mini first aid kits. You could fill it with salve. I have a really good salve recipe that I use and um, you could fill it with that. It looks like you guys are loving these for crafts. Yeah. Beads and components of things. Crafts is a great idea Bobby for pins. all of those. Bobby pins. Oh yeah, for bobby pins. You That's break great. Into someone's house with it. Mm -hmm. Just snap <laughs> it in half. And... MacGyver over here. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. All righty. Well, guys, I think. Um, Change, yeah, you can put change for your laundry. Yeah, right here. I got my quarters in here for the laundry. Yep. Um, so before we go, do we, yeah, you didn't know Yeah, so uh, <laughs> before we go, do we know what we were going to talk about tomorrow? No. Okay. Because I don't plan that far ahead. <laughs> okay. Mom plans that far ahead. I don't plan that far ahead. Actually, no, um, no, tomorrow I think I'm going to talk about um, how to heal your cracked. Heels and feet. So if you wear sandals and your and your heels are cracking and you're trying to get them healed up, I have a two ingredient solution that works. And I mean, it's probably our number two or three um, post on our website every summer because everybody just loves this and it actually works. So tomorrow we're going to talk about that. Yeah. So what else did they come up with? Uh, one person said um, putting in emergency information. Oh, yeah, that would be a good idea. Yeah, that would be a good idea. Yeah. yeah quite a great idea. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. Ma Nan wants to know, are you enjoying your candy? Yeah, I am. Toothpicks. Yeah. It tastes really good. <laughs> Probably should be saving it for tomorrow, though. Well, yeah, they're going hiking in a couple of days. Um, so he's yeah. building up energy now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, hopefully we'll bring you guys um, early next week something about hiking and being up in the well, mountains. Yeah, this weekend we're going to the mountains twice, so we're going to get that. Oh, I just had another idea. What? Couldn't you put, like, beef jerky in this? Yeah, you could. You could put no, beef jerky, jerky in there. Yep. Um, let's see. Have you been making faces? They said you've been making faces. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, let's see. Our church collects them for missionaries. When we have an abundance, so Tammy, what do they use them for? What do the missionaries use them for? Just these same kinds of things. Um, I I don't. I guess I would just use them for for stuff like this. I suppose. A micro Bible. Uh, a micro Bible. <laughs> <laughs> Write the Bible on a scroll. Sue and, says she loves Estes Park. Yay! Yes, isn't Estes Park great? We got a yearly pass because we go at least two to three times a month, if not more frequently. Um, uh, Mike and I used to live up there, and maybe we should do a di maybe we should do a video on where we used to live up there, because um, we lived in right downtown Estes Park, right behind the water wheel, and the parades would line up right in front of our apartments. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, they would. And at night we'd go out there when nobody else was in town and see it. It was kind of like a magical little town. Yep. It was it was. So, let's see. Tammy says the missionaries use them for medicines for third world country. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Buffy says we'll be in Estes area next week. Oh, how cool. Well, if you see me on the street, wave. Or come up and say hi. <laughs> we don't mind. We, we like it when people come up and say hi. So, all right. Let's see. Jenny says organizations use them for prescriptions in third world areas that have to take their meds home in a tissue. Oh, that's great. Yeah, that would be really good. Kimberly says keep a roll of stamps.
clean and dry in your bag. That's a good idea. The stamps, I hadn't thought about that. That's a really good one. So, all right. Well, guys, we're going to sign off for today. Please check back tomorrow. And we will be back at noon. And I think Mike's going to be putting up, what video are you putting up today on YouTube? Do you know? I think your mom is doing a little something. Oh, yeah. Mike's putting up a video on mom using her free vases on YouTube. So check that out, too. So, anyway, don't forget to... Sign up for our giveaway, livingonadime.com. Find a recipe or tip, share it on any social media, and then come back to this video on YouTube and tell me where you shared it and what video you shared. So, <laughs> do my books look that rough? <laughs> All, right. All right, guys. Happy birthday, Mom! Bye. Happy birthday, man. And bye, everybody. Thanks for joining See us today. See you guys today. later.